thumbs up means we are ready to start in three, two, one, go! Autonomous kicks off in this match. The first launch does come from Golden Bots in red bumpers, but it bounces off the edge of that lower hub. Tons of cargo going on up. The last launch might be from Core 2062. They pick up a quick four points. The Blue Alliance picking up a quick eight right as time expires. Ponage gets to work right away for the Blue Alliance. They take aim with their turret mechanism, just barely overshooting the upper hub. More launches coming up, two for two on the Blue Alliance. We've got the work of Ponage, Steel Tigers, and Riverside. Riverside looking for their next score. We've got googly eyes on that robot in blue bumpers, but they get pushed from Waukesha's core. Core 2062 is a red robot currently holding two blue cargo. We will see if that is a defensive strategy. They are sticking very tight to a launching powerhouse. That's Ponage in blue bumpers. And as long as Core is hanging on to those two blue cargo, Ponage will not be able to pick them up off the playing field floor. A very interesting strategy for defense for the Red Alliance. Checking in on our score, the Blue Alliance does have the lead and did earn the quintet during Autonomous. So they've got 40 to 14 and only six more cargo remaining until they earn an additional ranking point. Next action on the hub in the center of the field is one launch from red, three from blue, from that one of them landing for the Blue Alliance. Steel Tigers out of Joliet pick up two more points for blue. We've got collisions between Riverside Robo Tigers and Golden Bots on the Blue and Red Alliances, respectively. Another collision between Riverside and Core. Core still hanging on to those two blue cargo defensively for the Red Alliance. We have already got some action in the hangar zone with 40 seconds remaining in the match. The first robot off the ground is Steel Tigers out of Joliet. Ponage, their alliance partner, being very careful to tiptoe around Steel Tigers so that Steel Tigers can stay put on the mid rung for the Blue Alliance. Steel Tigers reaching higher for the high rung, their partners from Riverside right alongside them on the mid rung. 16 seconds remaining in the match. Ponage, their manipulator, has been a little off center in this match, but they have still been launching extremely accurately for the Blue Alliance. Six seconds remaining, two blue robots, one red robot up off the ground in the hangar zone as qualification match number 10 counts down. Winning that match, the Blue Alliance. A score of 64 to 24 in favor of blue in match number 10.